Hi everyone, and welcome to some retro news. There's been some major updates to the Mr. PlayStation Core. Earlier this week, the Core booted up a CD image of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 and ran its full motion video sequences, and even got to its title screen. Unfortunately, the game wasn't playable, but it was a great achievement to actually have CD images load. One of the goals the developer had before the end of the year was to get at least one game playable on the core. And after just a couple of days of getting Tony Hawk's Pro Skater to boot to the title screen, he got Ridge Racer playable on his core. There's still bugs, no sound, and a second SD RAM chip is currently required. But to get this far in such a short amount of time is incredible. It was only in August where he announced the software PlayStation emulator he created as the basis for the core. Then, he went on to create an FPGA core, and in about three months, he has a playable game. This is some really amazing stuff. Otego just teased us on Twitter with a picture of two arcade boards that were donated to him. Right away, you can see a Street Fighter 3 Third Strike for Capcom CPS3 arcade system, and behind it is a Polygame Master case. He confirms he will be working on a Polygame Master and CPS3 core but still has work on other cores before he works on these. Many people already know about the CPS3 arcade board by Capcom, which Street Fighter 3 was introduced for, but the Poly Game Master arcade system is a lesser known Taiwanese board. The most popular game from that board is the continuation of Cave's Dodonpachi shoot 'em up series. Going back to Hotego's tweet, what was another surprise for me was that before he starts working on these new boards, he will first finish a Mortal Kombat core had no idea he was working on Mortal Kombat. Things just keep getting better and better for the Mr. FPGA. Some more System 16 games are being added to the System 16 arcade core by Hotego. Sonic Boom is a vertical shoot 'em up released in 1987. Dunk Shot is an overhead basketball game that was actually licensed to Sega by Atari. MVP is a baseball game with some of the weirdest character designs you'll ever see. Right fielder. And Excite League is another baseball game with a much more serious tone. Super Mario Maker is a popular Nintendo game series that allows gamers to create Super Mario Brothers inspired levels. On PC, you can do something similar with Capcom's Mega Man. Mega Man Maker is a fan-made game that allows you to create Mega Man levels to share with the world, or just play levels created by others. It's completely free, so there's no excuse to not try it. Expect new features to constantly be updated because the game is in active development. The Super Nintendo 3D game Star Fox was a fun game and looked really impressive for the time. Getting smooth 3D on a home console was something very difficult to do. Even with the help of the Super FX chip that speeds up calculations for 3D functionality, the game still didn't run smoothly a lot of the time. Well, a hack for Star Fox now improves the frame rate for the game. The way it does this is by making the game use the Super FX2 chip instead of the first Super FX chip. Don't expect a miracle to happen and have the game run at 60 frames per second, but any speed up is helpful. In order to play this, you'll either have to hack your own cartridge or try the game through an emulator or a flash card that supports the Super FX2 chip. I had a lot of fun with my first computer. It gave me my first experience with coding. However, it was nowhere near the most comfortable experience. But I didn't know any better and still enjoyed it. The YouTube channel Zez Retro has a short excerpt of the interview I did with him involving the experience I had with my first computer. If you're interested in hearing about it, go check it out on this channel. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.